Hello, this is Yellow Hobo, and today we're taking a look at the Wasteland Trucker. We're already in game. I heard some people are having problems making money on here, so we're just gonna go ahead and show you just how I start, I guess. But I do what it requests you to do. The Misha's finest over at J6, or however you say it, and just throw it all in your inventory. Don't get hit by that thing, it will kill you, and that will end your play. I is how you pick, put it in your inventory. You can only have 10 things in your inventory, though. We brought 28 total. You can just spam you. <laughs> but this pays really well. For right now. Eh. Not even well. It's like, I think it's like 14. Yeah, I think 14,000. Also, you got a cool super jump, which I'm a huge fan of. We're still on our first day. Uh, come on, buddy. There you go. Now we got 43,142 with uh, 60 liters in the tank. And then we got to find some jobs. So I'll bring you back to it whenever we find some jobs. Also, here's my truck. I didn't paint it that other color. It looks too meh. But we got the, I'll show you here. Got the bare essentials in here. We got some motor oil. Got our compass. I don't bring the binoculars. Got our map. Uh, empty gas tank and five more bottles of water. And this one's about done already. And I think that's all I brought with me. And then, you know, of course, we installed the radio. But yeah, we're going to go find a job and I'll bring you back to it. All right, so these are the jobs we have right now. I mean, not really worth my time, so we're just gonna go back to Bolarsk and see what else they got for us over there. But anyways, yeah, this game's uh, one, I've been, one of the games I've been keeping my time busy whenever I was dealing with COVID. But I don't have to deal with COVID anymore. Uh, thanks all you, for all of you for being patient. I mean, and uh, all the people that actually, you know, gave me the well wishes and all that good stuff. They all look more appreciated. Just glad I can uh, sound like me again. <laughs> Still just a little bit nasally, but that's about it. But yeah, uh, the goal for this video today is to just show you how to make some good amounts of money. Also, this game, you have to shift and use the clutch. So you use the clutch with X, and then up and down arrow keys is how you uh, actually shift. Pretty cool. You can also use one, two, three, four, five. There's five moves. Uh, as far as I can tell, there isn't any damage from shifting it incorrectly, so that's always a plus. And uh, yeah, I mean that's always a good thing. Game's already pretty hard. At least it doesn't make the shifting too hard for people that don't want to actually shift. But this is a this game I've got about I don't know, six hours in now, and uh, me and my buddy, uh, I'm sure y'all know, uh, Redneck City Boy. Um, he's uh, he's the one that turned me on to this game, and uh, yeah, he just uh, gave me some tips. I'm just going to share it with you. Because why, why should only a couple people have the tips? When all of us can have them. Also with those updates too, it's, you know, I don't know. It's, you can't go negative in money anymore, so you gotta, you gotta be positive. You can't be doing overzealous buys. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll pull you back in in the morning time. I'll probably sleep in Belarsk and get all my, all my essentials taken care of, you know, the thirst and the hunger in the bladder in the bottom left corner there. But anyways, yeah, let's see you So we're going to attempt this, and uh, if anybody's been paying attention to this game that's been on my channel, you know that uh, this place right here, we're just going to call it Komodo. Um, it, you have to go through the mountains, and I'll show you on the, uh, on the thing here. And those are the four pallets. <laughs> and our bed... It is not tall enough to hold these in, so you got to be extra, extra careful. Okay? With that being said, you know me. <laughs> I'm not very careful. So, 
to pick these up right you can either use a forklift which i think it's over there somewhere or not going over there yet it's too slow so developers and their big brains did that so you can pick them up <laughs> which i'm all right with but i'm gonna get these loaded up and then uh we're gonna start trekking that way it's now morning time we got most of our necessities done got this in here as bad as good as i could do it it's inside the bounds you can see why I'm saying you got to be careful though, because literally the only thing stopping it is pretty much nothing. Um, so we're just going to take it slow through the mountains. It's a little on the left side, and I don't really like that, but it'll probably settle. Maybe, right? <laughs> Who knows though. So this is your map, and we're over in, I can't point anything with a pointer, so... Um, we started in Gun or Gurrink's home, and then uh, we are now in the Balarsk area. And the way we're gonna go is go up to JSX, and you see that squiggly line right there, that fork uh, past JSX in the north, and then it goes through those mountains. That's where we're going. Man, it's uh, it's a little rough, but we're going to uh the Komso Drensk, which is, uh, you know, Komodo, um, for <laughs> easy purposes for me. And uh, we're dropping these pallets off, and then we're going to show you what else we're doing from that point on. Let's get this going. All right, so this is a uh, JSEX house, uh, J-A-C-E-K-S uh, house. And... Um, <clears throat> We're gonna pass this up, and there's there's like crossing signs that make it a little bit easier to figure out where you're going. Um, which I maybe I should have shown this on, but we'll, we'll see it again in a later video. Uh, if you're playing along, you know, uh, just go past the Lars and keep on heading north. You gotta cut this, and you'll, you'll come to a crossing. And take it really easy. Uh, there it is. Alright, so we're gonna have to go down in a second here. Hopefully, we'll just have to some logs. Alright, so this is what you're looking for. This leads you up into uh, the mountains. So we're gonna traverse this, and if I uh, have anything funny to show you, like me flipped over or something like that, I'll definitely uh, hit the forward button again. So, other than that, uh, we're gonna stay on the flip side. Just wanted to bring y'all guys in and show you some of our progress. We're not too steep right now, so let's see what we can see if I can stop this without it moving backwards on me. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and get out and look. All right. Yeah, we've made it quite a bit of the ways up here. You can't even see half the stuff we drove. Had to run over that hill. But yeah, we're getting we're getting there. Still got a ways to go though. <laughs> Just wanted to give you a little progress update on this bad boy. I'm looking on everything over here. Right here, still full cool. What about you, engine? It's always hard whenever you get on an angle with this. Huh, lost a little bit, but not too bad. They're still in place, so that's a, that's a big bonus for us right there. And uh, yeah, gonna keep on going. Hopefully we can get through it before the day's over. Look at all this beauty. And these people that ran out of fuel. Poor guys. Getting there. See the ocean too. Looking real nice. Real, real nice. How are we looking on fuel? Huh. And even use half of what we put in there, so we're good. All right, let's get to trucking again. It's getting pretty dark out here now. We've got a little shack that doesn't have an entrance to it. It's unfortunate, but oh well, right? Hey, cigarettes. Yes, there is smoking in this game too, but uh, we'll keep it uh, a little PG uh, as much as we can, I guess. I mean, our end goal of what we're selling is not PG at all, so... I mean, you can only hide so much. I mean, 
It's a game I would not recommend for uh, children to play. And it is nighttime hardcore. We're starting to get to where we're going downwards more than we're going upwards, which is nice. But we've been driving for about 20 minutes or so. <laughs> so let's keep on going. Yeah, we found some friends. They don't talk much, but yeah. We're just hanging out with them with our brats on them. They got some military police over here. I don't know what trouble they're in, but they did something wrong. Anyways, and you can see uh, we're starting to head down now. Wait. We didn't go to the very top, though. How much we got left over here, man? Alright, cool. Had to drink some water. I was uh, at like 75, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get this over with. Well, going downhill got me. <laughs> They're both right there at least. Hit a bump and then uh, <laughs> now we're here. So we gotta put it in reverse. Back up this hill a little bit too. All right, let's see if I can put it. Well, if I could uncover this. <laughs> All right, there's that. Go ahead and shut this off. We're rolling a little bit, but that's expected. As long as we can get out and get our <coughs> stuff back in, we'll be all right. It's just the top two. All right, so I'm gonna get this picked up and keep on going. You see how that switches back right there too? And this right here is what got me. Yep. I went just a little bit of a hair off, hit this little bump right here, bump me up and then hit that bump and <laughs> then uh yeah, we're we're at where we're at now. close to the road and we dumped it again <laughs> these little downwards hills man uh, they get me pretty hardcore so yeah I just uh <laughs> I mean I was taking it slow too so come on bud so, I don't know man hopefully these things uh get full price <laughs> Glad they don't count off for flips. If they did, you wouldn't make nothing on these Komodo runs at all. And so we made it to uh, Komodo. This is uh, the name of it on the map. So if you wanted, you know, write that down or whatever. Alright, we're here. I'm gonna go ahead and just take these and throw them over the fence. <laughs> premium delivery services here I'm telling you getting to steal whenever I bring your stuff to you Beep. <laughs> instead of just driving this bad boy all the way in there yeah we can do that too I'd rather get the ones off the top first though oh yeah already at 65 And then I'll show you where you can get some upgrades at. And it's right over here for your truck. Well, we are not rich enough for that yet. We're trying to get enough money to uh, start our trading business. So 87k, that's doing pretty good. We're gonna have to spend probably 20 of it to get more gas because this is a gas. But let's go check out the store real quick. So, 
You got a diesel engine right here, way out of my price range. 399,000 Slavarians. Then 41,000 for nicer looking things. For the Pelosca. Oh, that's for the, the car. We ain't even there yet. <laughs> we ain't met no car, car salesman yet. And then the bed is 211,000. And the way you do that is you just come up here, bump your uh, bed on it, and then switch them out. But I do need to repair this bad boy. Did my engine get hurt at all? You're good. You're good. So. Yeah, we rolled this bad boy. My glass is kind of like not hanging on anymore. I had a hole right here too. But, oh well. I think uh, we're going to call it for this video here. Uh, I've been recording for a while now. Most of it's going to get cut out. Maybe. Yeah, it'll be a decent size video still. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this game. This showing of this game. If you want to get the game, it is on... Uh, Oh, I'm at 81 thirst now. It's on Steam. I think it was like 11.99 on sale, but it might be regular price now for like 15.99. It's kind of a steal. It's still in early stages, but it's actually pretty fun. Uh, going through that mountain is a challenge. If you ever, if you like challenging games, uh, I remember the first time I ran it. It was uh, not fun. I didn't make it even halfway but anyways uh i'll see you on the next one and have a great day everybody goodbye